No lunch, just dessert. Hey guys, today on The Edgy Veg, I'm here with my friend Rachel. Hello! And because summer is just around the corner, hopefully, Fingers mm. crossed. It was really cool this weekend yep. here in Toronto. But it hailed yesterday. It oh, it did. It did it really? Yeah, it's I was May. in bed all day. And well, you missed yeah. it. Welcome to Canada. But today, I thought that it would be fun to try different vegan ice cream and different frozen treats that are made out of ice cream. I like how you're like. I thought it would be fun to just eat ice cream. Yeah. 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 You don't have any nut allergies or any allergies at all, right? Nope. Okay, good. Probably should have asked that for Probably. Before. Yes. But we're gonna go through them and try them and tell you which ones are our favorites. And I should preface, I'm not vegan. I am so happy to try and convert you with ice cream. The first one is from So Delicious. I mean, it smells like nothing. Nothing. Not <laughs> smell. So this one is cashew frozen dessert. It tastes like cashew ice cream with a hint of vanilla. I like it. I give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. It's nice and like creamy. It. Some, I've had vegan ice cream that's like really watery. Yeah. Doesn't have that creaminess. It's not trying to be anything it's not. It's so delicious minis. Oh my goodness. Uh, this one is coconut milk and they are little mini ice cream sandwiches. <gasps> I feel like everything tastes better when it's mini. They're so cute. You want to share this one? Yes, let's okay. share. Can I give you like really little mine? Oh, okay, you want to? Our noses are gonna be tied. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. The cookie part mm. is done perfectly. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a coconut flavored ice cream sandwich. It doesn't it doesn't taste vegan. That makes sense. It's non-GMO verified. Kosher, because there's a K with a heart. That's also a thing. You can eat it. And if you're in my Jew crew, oh, you wow! Go. This one is vegan and gluten free. So for all you gluten hating people out there, natural choice organic mango fruit bars. Mm. Do you like mango? I love mango. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Okay, <laughs> open it from this end and then we can use the wrapper to protect our fingers. No, that's not a thing. Is that a thing? No. That's how I did how I did my possibility. No? Oh. oh. Wow, I felt like I just learned something. Like this, and then you can. Hold it. I've never opened up a popsicle like that. Oh, maybe that's like a weird German thing. You try it first, okay. Mango puree. That's a mango that has been squeezed, put into a mold, and voila. You know when you go to like Indian restaurants and you get like mango ice cream? Yeah. It's like a popsicle version of that. This is like actual mango piece. What is this? I don't even know. That's I feel all like, you. try it. Ew. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> it sounds like the crusty part. No, no, it's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so this is. <gasps> this is coconut bliss Luna and Larry's organic chocolate peanut butter. Yum. Oh my god, peanut butter. I'm obsessed. You should go for that. It's okay. straight up peanut butter. I can't have peanut butter in my place because I just eat the whole tub. Yup. This is becoming a staple in my home. So it tastes like coconut, chocolate, and peanut butter, which I'm not angry about at all. The texture of the peanut butter is so thick. This is not fat-free peanut butter. No. So this one, here, let's <gasps> open that while I describe it, is also so delicious minis, coconut milk, chocolate oh. almond. This reminds me of like a Magnum the Magnum syrup. bar? See, this is how I open the popsicle, just like that. Gosh, it's so cute. I feel like this is the most amazing thing to create because not only do you feel good when you're eating it, because you're like, oh, I'm being vegan, I'm being a, a good human. It's not as fattening, I think, right? I don't have, have a normal ice cream? ice cream to compare to. I mean, this is 13 grams of fat per one bar, but mm -hmm. like, coconut's good fat. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of how the closest is to a Magnum bar. Mmm. Doesn't taste like a Magnum bar. A Magnum yeah. bar is very, um, just creamy. It's lighter. It's, it's watery. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. yeah. The coating is really good. The, the coating is and good. Almond. Yeah. It's a different texture than a Magnum bar. Yeah. But it's really, really good. If they took this and put it in here, I think it would be closer. The cashew ice cream instead of the coconut. 
I would buy that. So delicious, take your cashew ice cream and put it in here and then sell it to us. We would buy it. These vegan ice creams and one popsicle mm -hmm. to like regular ice creams and popsicles and mm -hmm. bars. What do, you, what, what do you think? That was I think that they're totally comparable. This tastes amazing. It tastes so delicious, no pun intended. Let us know in the comments below if you have a favorite type of brand or flavor of vegan ice cream. Let me know what it is. I would love to pick it up and try it out and tell you if it becomes my favorite. And make sure you head over to Rachel's channel. I will leave a link in the description below. We went over there and I fed her all the vegan meat blindfolded and she yes. had to guess what meat it was. What meat was in my mouth? And make sure that you hit that subscribe button and when you go over there, leave a comment on her video letting her know that you're from my channel. And as always, give the video a big huge thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next week. Bye! Bye. Jamaican beef patties, but vegan. Everything's going to be irene.